The modern term Zionism was originally intended, a political movement, so that Jewish people had a place to defend themselves if there was ever an enemy that would come up against them. I think the biggest thing is that, that needs to be understood about Zionism is that it's a term, it's a, it's a modern term that's used to describe the Jewish people's right to live in Israel. Because I think there's a lot of people that think they don't deserve to live there. That's not their land. They, they don't deserve to be there. Uh, and that's why Zionism can often be used uh, as almost like a curse word, like these colonialists are coming in and taking over. Where really that term Zionism, I think it has a positive connotation because it's defining this belief that they actually have a right to protect themselves to self-determination because that term that remember zionism is a modern term it's a little more than 100 years old and it's 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 modern because remember i said it was a political term and the reason it was political is because europe during that time there was an, a, a rise of anti-Jewish sentiment going on. And many Jewish people were looking around and saying, who's going to protect us? You know, if we're French and the French people don't like us, then the French people aren't going to protect us even though we're French. If the Germans, you know, we're German Jews, but if Germans don't like Jews, then how are we going to be protected? How are we going to defend ourselves? And so they, that's when these men, these Jewish men got together and created this concept of Zionism it, it, in a modern sense, in a political sense, that we need a place that where our people, the Jewish people can live so that we don't have to ask countries to defend us. We can defend ourselves. We can make our own destiny. And really, that's the modern sense of what Zionism is. And then coupled with the biblical idea as well that goes back to the Bible, that God would actually do something miraculous. He would restore them to their land. So th there, there's a beautiful picture of what God was doing in the Bible and at the same time a political movement that was working hand in hand as the Jewish people were returning to the land of Israel.